Here we are. This is the Port Stars or People podcast. I'm here with Emma Hicks. Hello. For the first time, uh, <laughs> someone whose name I have no uh, questions about pronouncing. Yeah. Sometimes we'll be like, I'll be like about to start, and then I'm like, oh shit, I don't actually know. No, I've been called Emma Nix before. I've been called like just the randomest stuff. Yeah. So you got it right. Yeah. You got it right. It. <laughs> Emma Hicks, baby. So we're uh, we're in we're in L.A. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have any? So I, I always ask because I don't know the place that well. I was asking this in Vegas. Nobody gave me real any good real answers. What are the secrets to LA that I should know about? The secrets how, to how LA. Well, I there? mean, I'm pretty new here. How long have you been here? Like seven months. Okay. All right, ish. All right, all right, yeah. I mean, that's pretty new for me. I sure. think. No, it is. So I mean, I can't. The only place I feel like the only place that like you have to change your life a whole ton. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you've only been there for seven months, is New York. Like once you, if you were like, yeah. oh, I'm, a new, I'm not in New York. You're like, you're like how long you been here? Seven months? Mm-hmm. No, you're fine. You've seen, you've already seen somebody pull their dick out on the subway. You're exactly. You're good. <laughs> yeah. So LA, you get shielded a little bit from that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You can live in, uh, you can live in a, um, uh, like a like a bubble in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And never really see anything. Yeah. So do you Uber or drive? I drive. Okay. I drove all the way here from Canada. Okay, and you yeah. from British Columbia. So, ba- and you said like near, Vanco- like Vancouver. Near Vancouver. Yeah. Very cool. So you're, it's a whole other, uh, like they've already, they've been. They've been chill about weed for a long time, right? I mean, we have the best weed there. <laughs> not, not gonna lie, I it's like the top shit. I hear <laughs> that Vancouver is claiming almost everything. So somebody, so uh, strip clubs in Vancouver are supposed to be amazing. It's so good. Um, weed is supposed to be amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember now. It's as much stuff mashed in my brain. I can't, I think somebody might have claimed that Vancouver had the best bagels too. Okay, I don't know about that. Okay, thank God. I mean. So it was, yeah, either they're Vancou- all right. it was either Vancouver or Seattle. Somebody <laughs> Seattle, claimed, and yeah. I was like, and I was like, I don't know about that. I've been to Seattle, way better there. The bagels? Yeah, for sure. I see. I when I as soon as I leave New York, I just don't get bagels. You know what I mean? Yeah, they just don't so get them. Fucking good though. <laughs> just, get, just get out of the. Just, just like because you just you're like the, I like to go to the place and find what the thing is in that place. Yeah, um, yeah. What would you say the thing of Vancouver is? Definitely the shopping. I mean, like that's that's like the. Th- thing i mean when i live there i'm I'm like an outsider though like when yeah. i live there i didn't really do anything that anyone else did like i kind of like i'm more of like a sit at home kind of person yeah. you know like order some postmates like that's me right yeah 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 but vancouver it, i mean it's la's way better sure. so much more to do yeah you got the beach vancouver it's like you you can't i haven't had good weather luck when i was in vegas it was mm-hmm. 68 and windy and cold really and it's like i haven't seen s- the sun yet here the day i drove in sunday it was uh-huh. 100 degrees here it was beautiful yeah yeah yeah. and then gone well i mean i kind of like it like this though like outside it's like really cloudy today yeah right? it's cloudy not but that's yeah, what so i'm like, used to in right, canada right and i'm used to that because I'm, I'm from syracuse i'm used to that now it's weird that it doesn't rain here I've yeah it, it i mean just, I, yeah i kind of like yeah yeah but i kind of like the rain though so that's what i miss really yeah it yeah, never rains a, here. i don't know why that's like a female thing the, like the just the oh it just soothes me it just soothes just me. Like you know because you sit in bed and you're like oh that's Soothing. So good. It's, yeah. right. it's an excuse to stay in, inside. That's, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, I, <laughs> guess, I guess if you live in LA, you can't really like blame the rain. Yep. Uh, for anything, like ah, oh, dude, I was totally gonna be there. Yeah. But it's raining. Sorry, but man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you don't have that here. Yeah. So yeah, so um, here, so out out front of here, there's mm-hmm. a big line. There's, a, I found out what it was. There's a release for Supreme today, which is uh, uh you know, uh, an apparel Pretty company. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Chris Brown wears it. Yeah. He wears su- because there's always, there's all these pictures of him with Supreme under. Yeah. I don't know why I have all this Chris Brown underwear knowledge actually. Now that I'm now that it's coming out of my mouth, that doesn't sound like <laughs> it. Um, but they they released a bunch of Michael Jackson apparel. Yeah. So they had like so, was all that. so Michael Jackson on the sweatshirts, whatever. So these kids have been here for like two days. I yeah I know yeah I saw that and I because my 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 husband kind of drove with me here yeah. and he knows like all about that shit and so I'm like what the fuck is going on? So he was on like inside? oh yeah Supreme drop. Yeah he's like people were probably sleeping there for like one to two days and yeah i'm like holy shit yeah they were here People. yesterday they were here uh they were here the day before that they've been around the corner um have you ever waited and they were camped out for anything no i never have no actually what i never would you have. camp out if you had to camp out for something what would you camp out for it'd be more like an like i don't know i mean i, pl- I like, like i game event. okay no like if, like, so no like, shit. like if an xbox was on sale like i don't yeah. know like a big sale for like, like a best buy or some shit yeah. then i would you know would you have you ever done the the black friday thing no. Well, you can't. I'm too scared, man. Like I, scared of I what? see videos on like fucking Facebook and people, people get like trampled, over? and I'm like, no, I'll stay home. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon that shit. It's weird. <laughs> it's, it is weird now the the idea that people camp out for stuff because all those things, uh, pretty much you, you they they can do the the online deals the same. You yeah. can just chill and 
ready to go and then bang online and you're done. Yeah. So it's weird to have to, to be there. Uh, my favorite part of something like this is, the, is like the guys that come early mm -hmm. and then they just sell it to the rest of the line. But I mean, like that's commitment. Like that's like, yeah. that's like yeah. fucking commitment. Just bring <laughs> you three days and then the thing and then he just, and then he just sells it to the rest of the line. And yeah. then you got it. And then you got to decide it when you're in line, if you think, if you have confidence that you're going to get the thing from the store or if you're going to have to buy it from this guy in the line. Yeah. Uh, so that's an interesting, that's an interesting, that whole, that whole resale market is always fun to me. Uh, like Kanye, I was, I was working with a friend on uh, the Kanye West tour, the mm -hmm. St. Pablo tour. Really, I just wanted to go to the concert. So I was like, just make me do something for like five hours. I want to see this fucking thing. Yeah. And he sold out, he sold more merchandise uh, than anyone ever. He sold a million dollars of merchandise every single day that he was at MSG. Holy shit. Which beat the Pope. Yeah. And so <laughs> like see guys come with like just stacks of cash. They'd spend 16 grand on sweatshirts. They'd buy every size or whatever. And we're pulling up and we're like, what, do you, what, what happens? Like, what do you do? Like, what's the mar And he's like, no, I'm selling these to Japan for like 50 grand. Holy shit. Yeah. So the, the, the Making the money though. Oh like yeah. that's, that's not too bad. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the, I th yeah. I think, I think Japan, China, I think they are fanatical about all our shit. Yeah. All our weird gear. Well, I'm sorry, I gotta hear my mouth. Does that happen in New York? Like, is there like a lot of like campouts like that happen? Uh, I've never, I've never seen it in New York. I think oh. every once in a while, I think there would be like a Foot Locker where they do it, and the you know the new Jordans come out. Every but once in a while, in New like York, that. everybody's got a guy. Yeah, like I yeah, got yeah. a guy for that thing. Like that's kind of what New York is about. Yeah, is being like a regular. That was all I was trying to do was like be the regular at the bagel shop. Mm -hmm. I ended up working so hard to be a regular at the bagel <laughs> shop that I was eating bagels seven times a week. And mm -hmm. then I and then I finally looked down at my body and I was like, yo, I need to stop eating bagels. That's today. me right now. Yeah. yeah, I go to the same place every day and I'm like, I'm in the back of the line, they just show, they throw me like the nod. Yeah, and then like I'm you like, want yeah. That. yeah. I go to my other spot, get the coffee. They eat, same thing. They throw me the nod. I go, yeah. The, the usual. The, yeah. Yeah. The usual. <laughs> All I ever wanted was be to, to was to have the usual. That's me right now. Yeah. It's, yeah. So same. What's your, so what's your go-to bagel? Um, okay, well, it's not bagels. I mean, I go to Jamba Juice every fucking <laughs> okay. morning, and it's just like it's to the point where they're like. Like you get the same thing, the same thing, and they know, like they know what time I'm gonna be there, and it's like right by my house, oh, so I'm shit. like, yeah. So it's so what's your what is your Jamba Juice order? It's always strawberry whirl. Okay, and what's always. in the strawberry whirl? I don't know. Don't know. It's, it's just, just a like bunch of that shit. One, this size. It's the colors. Dundio. I like the colors. Oh, I'm like yeah? it's pink. I'm like I like pink. Did you get involved with the unicorn frappuccino then? No, I tried that. What'd Every place I went didn't didn't have it. Oh, it was out. Yeah. No, did you see the post online when the baristas were freaking out? They're like, don't make us make a unicorn frappuccino. Really? <laughs> yeah, they were complaining. Um, now, w we've all worked some jobs where you have to do some annoying things, but making mm -hmm. a, a unicorn frappuccino is not I on the like level. What, is it like hard or something? Or? I think it you just takes a couple minutes. <laughs> Dude, that's like, <laughs> I, I like, want to try one. I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You, I think you, I feel like you're in an industry where you might have to do something a little bit more difficult than a rainbow frappuccino. Yeah, just, frappuccino, just a little bit. <laughs> you know, it, it, from a discomfort level. <laughs> just so. a little bit. <laughs> I've never seen anybody, you know, don't make me do double Dino. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's sometimes me, though. I'm like, oh, don't make I me just, do it. You just wake up, you're just like, I just don't feel like double anal today. I just don't feel like it today. Damn Tomorrow, it. But <laughs> Damn it. It's not that kind of day. Man, traveling as much, and the, the thing that I don't usually do is, is stay in one place for this long. I was in Vegas for a week, and I'm, and I'm in LA So you travel a, a shit ton? I travel a lot, and... and and when I find, you know, it's a couple of days you'll do, you know, for as a comedian, you'll do, you'll basically do a weekend. You might do like a Thursday through a Sunday mm -hmm. and then you're kind of trying to hop around and get to the next one. And so Monday, Tuesday, whatever Wednesday, either you take them off or you go to other random places. So being in one place for a long period of time uh, starts to be like depressing. In a Are way. you serious? Yeah, I don't. That's so weird for me. It's just like I. So I went to Hawaii for like, I think a week and yeah. I got homesick and like we had to come home early. Yeah, I hate I hate like I love traveling. But I need to like stay in the same spot. Oh yes, yeah. See, I can't, I Coming from Canada to here, I was like crying the whole way. I'm like, I'm gonna miss Canada no. so much. I'd rather, I would rather, like, I'm, I'm happy to be home. Yeah. And that's, and that's where I want to be. But like, when I'm in another place, it's, I just feel like I'm not gonna. It's weird because when you're, when you're somewhere else, you want to like take in the whole place. Last night, I just, I was just so kind of bummed about everything, and I got back and I had, I like, I had to do laundry because I couldn't figure out how much shit to bring. Yeah. And then I just did laundry and I passed out. This is my, this is my least favorite thing. You take a nap. Mm -hmm. And you just figure it'd be twenty minutes, and then you wake up and the sun's gone down. Yeah, and it just feels like it just feels horrible. Yeah, I can't get over the waking up and the sun's down, like depression, whatever that is. Yeah, I was like, fuck it, man, I'm just staying in. Now. I'm just staying it's in. It's done. The night is <laughs> done. It was seven. It was seven forty-five when I woke up, and the sun. From was a down. nap or just like right yeah, I was yeah. at, I, the nap was at uh the nap was at like 
six forty five or seven, and I woke oh, okay. up at seven forty five, and I was yeah. just like, "Nope, that's it, I'm done." No, nope. yeah, if I sleep any lo- like longer than four hours, I'm like, "Nope, I gotta stay in bed." Yeah, it's done. I no, I see. I I am I'm, I'm pro twenty minute nap. I can I can bang a twenty minute nap and then get up and just seriously be ready for the day. Oh yeah, twenty. Mm-mm. Christina Aguilera uh, did a thing. I, I used <laughs> to think I'm sorry. She she did a th- she did a thing on something in her in her heyday. She said if you sleep on your back, uh-huh. legs up on the couch. You wake up at twenty minutes refreshed and good to go. So I, I've always had the rule: twenty minutes. If you, four hours is not a nap. You understand? Like that's no, that's a nap for me. I'm that's like sleeping. <laughs> that's yeah. just sleeping. I love sleep though. Everyone, yeah. So it's like if I have to wake up from a twenty minute nap, I'm like really cranky, yeah. and I'm like, mm mm. No, twenty. No. I can wake <laughs> up relatively refreshed. Go live life. If I make it past that, I wake up groggy and I'm and just angry at everyone who's around. <laughs> um, are there things that that uh? that drive you crazy to to like an uncontrollable level bad drivers bad drivers but i think okay. that's everyone but okay now this is my favorite part so everybody thinks every, everybody thinks everybody else is a bad driver right yeah and they all think that they're a good driver so I'm what's so a, hypocritical what's a like good driver to you like what which okay, style of driver are you okay the way i drive is like super aggressive so like i'll go like 85 yeah. on like the on the freeway yeah. and then if like someone's going really slow it's just like that's a ba- the worst. like that's a bad driver for yeah. me, you know, and it's, or like people who cut you off, and like I'm like my horn is like almost just like gone from the amount oh, of really? that I use it. Oh, yeah, I didn't like know that I was use a thing. Like, no, like, like it's fucking like it's, I use it's it like so horse. much. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so like funny. please stop press, pl- just stop pressing me. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm with you on that. Now I so I generally put the cruise on, but I yeah. but I, I know what speed I want to go. I want to go like. Like eleven to thirteen over, or whatever the thing is. Yeah. And just rock it in. So, but what happens? I, I find on the highways is like the, like everybody's personality is uh, based on what's going on around them, which is like I'm just trying to go. You, all the people around, I don't care about yeah. you. I just want to be not. If you're going slower than me, or it's I just like want to be around right you. Or like get in the right lane. Like get out of the fucking yeah, way. Yeah. So in New York, they get out. Like like left lane is for fast people, and yeah. then you go to the right. No one understands out. that here. Not no at all. Well, as soon as you make it into three and four lanes, they don't know what to do. They just hang in whatever yeah. lane. Yeah. But this is this is my least favorite thing. With and this is if you're going and then you pass somebody and then they wake up and then decide, oh, I I should be going 85 now. No, no, no. Just do whatever just you're doing. Fucking, yeah. Live your, if I'm in cruise control and I've seen you more than once, you're an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. There's no reason why. And then I got to pass it, and then you start to figure out. So then you got to. F- be in front of them and then behind them it's a whole it's a whole fiasco i got to this point where it's like i should seriously make a bumper sticker saying i probably cut you off because you were in the left lane it's just like yeah that's like i was like should i just like fucking write that if on my you're back windshield this, you don't have left lane privileges anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah that's not a bad bumper sticker yeah i, I just want i kind of i want to write i don't even want it to be a bumper sticker. i just want to be a handwritten sign that just says just handwritten just fucking just write i'm it on in it. cruise control you're an asshole <laughs> yeah. if you've seen me more than once it's a problem and here's the thing is i'm such a backseat driver like it's just oh, like, like somebody else but yeah. not with someone else with my husband so it's okay. like when he drive, like he gets so mad because like, how does he drive Okay, well, he's a bad driver for me. Like, I'm because so hypocritical. He's slow. No, he's not slow. Oh. He's, he's just like me. But it's just like if I see like a lane open and like he's like in a shit ton of traffic, yeah. it's like fucking get in the left get lane. Get in there. Just like move. You, even if you're cutting two cars, you're. you're just you're, fucking go. Yeah, like and I get so mad. And then he's like, stop backseat driving. And it's just like, ugh. And so it's like, just fucking let me drive. Yeah. But it's just, just slide over. No big I'm, deal. Yeah, I'm very hypocritical, though. Yeah. Very. I uh I my favorite this is this is uh I, f- I found this out the last time so uh, once a year I do like a big road trip uh, we drove to Alaska one year last year I mm-hmm. uh, went to Vegas drove back to New York and went to the rental car place and they had a they had an Impala which looks like a, just like a cop car and they had it in like this charcoal color and yeah. I was like that's the one and I put stuff in the windows and I had like wires coming down uh-huh. and then I go behind people and I just give them the flash and they would fly wait out you of the had lane. this car yeah so if you rent a car it looks like a cop car man oh shit your day like. I'm 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 willing to just go buy an Impala and then just put random stuff on, put like a blue um, light and a red light in the front, just underneath the, the that's grill. That's genius. Yeah, I just go bop bop, give them a little flash, and people are like, ah, they fly. Yeah, get, out get of the, the right. Get the right. You're just oh, like, yeah. <laughs> My father though tried to do this move. He was he t- uh, went to the car to go down to Florida. He, he picked a, a white one, uh-huh. which I think. I think that makes sense. Like, it seems like the one, the, the other route that you would go. Yeah, but uh, then you got to put stickers on it and shit. He, but then he got pulled over in that car driving like an asshole. Yeah. And, the guy, and I think the guy didn't really know what to, the, I think the guy wasn't sure if he was a cop or not, so he just pulls him over. He wasn't really sure. So he was just like, hey, man, you got to use blinkers. 
mm-hmm. and I guess that was the end of the interaction, which is weird. Which is that weird. I would still be scared. Like I'd be like, "Shit, I'm in a lot of trouble." Yeah. Here. Right. Oh, the impersonation. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least he like didn't get in trouble. Yeah, it didn't turn so. into anything somehow. I don't know. Uh, there, are, I think there are cars that are prone to getting pulled over, and the ones that aren't. Because I drive an orange Subaru, and I've ne- and I barely ever get pulled over. Mm-hmm. Uh, I drove, uh, and this is this is a weird one to the the. the to get pulled over, but I was I was in like a like a green Camry, mm-hmm. and I drove to Portland um, la- th- in December, and I got pulled over like six times in this car. Yeah, I was like, why is this the car? Like I thought like 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 a red Corvette is the one. That's always yeah. Green Camry, green Camry pulled over like ev- like I got pulled over at one point every three hours. Yeah, in Wyoming and uh, uh, Nebraska, and then uh, like I think Idaho. Yeah. It was it was awful. It was You're like I think I should like reconsider my driving skills. <laughs> now I find that uh the horn now if I'm in a car somebody beeps at me, I don't care. Yeah. But if I'm something about if I'm like in the street as a human mm-hmm. and I'm in New York and somebody beeps, I just like I go um, I go from zero to a hundred, like like right away. Yeah, I'm like, hey, I gotta fucking make everyone happy behind me and shit. No, no, I'm just walking. Like I'm oh, just you're a walking? person. Yeah, oh. I'm a person and I hear it like a cab beeps and for some reason I like turn into like Do you just like walk like ten times faster? Doctor Jekyll. No, I just freak out. I was oh. in a conversation <laughs> with somebody and there was a cab and he goes bam and I was like and I like I I had like a vi- like a visible reaction to it. And then I went to open my mouth again and I go bam bam and I ran over to the cab, the window was open. I just started yelling at it. I've like, done I don't that know, before. I yeah. freaked out. And now when I yell, I don't have any useful information. No, me neither. I I say the stupidest shit when I I'm mad. I can't like maintain. I can't. The anger just comes out and just uh, uh just vomitous things. Yeah, it's just you don't. You can't even control it. It's I'm just like noises. It's just like random words, and you're like. I'm yeah. Not a good arguer. I me found neither. Out. I was hanging out with a lawyer this weekend, and I, I thought I was like pitching jokes a little bit because every mm-hmm. once in a while you like you just you have a joke idea in your head and you just kind of you kind of spit it out. Yeah. And somehow each of these conversations turned into full out like arguments. Really? Yeah, because I thought I was just like I was just like yo, fat people aren't lazy; they work hard because they got fat. And then <laughs> it turned into this whole thing about like addiction and how you can't make fun of people with addictions and uh, the dependency. Yeah, issues. you're like it was just a joke. I was just trying to have fun. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to have fun. I was like working out this 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 bit, this idea yeah. that like that fat people are just eating nine to five all day long. Yeah. And then and then I was and then I that and I was like going through it in my head and I was like yo, th- she's like a brilliant lawyer. That's why. Yeah. So oh. when you like tell me somebody knows how to argue, they take like this little thing. The comedians, we take something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We break it off and we go, we just say like whatever the thing is, we say a generalization, then we support it. We're like, this is this will always go in your ass or whatever. Yeah, like, and you yeah. just and you generalize it and you say a thing. Uh but then lawyers they go the other way. They take the they, they look at the thing, they break it off into tiny little pieces and they find the most vulnerable piece. Yeah. And then they and then they exploit it. Yeah. Over and over again. And then they make and then I was and I guess this happens in court. Do they make it personal? She made it personal about her own dependency stuff. Yeah. And then I was like, I can't even I can't well, even rebuttal any of this. Lawyers, well, like not. I hope this will sound sexist, but women always do that. They want to argue though. Oh, yeah. Like they, I live for that shit. Yeah. I know that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. So what are your what are your cheat moves in an argument with your husband? Um, definitely like pulling out my. My boobs, like if like we're, if oh, I this know the whole thing. Oh, I was talking but about if, oh, I was talking about like 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 argument strategy. No, you you just oh, I'm go talking about to how sex. to solve it. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'm I'm like yeah. If, well, I mean, if me and him are arguing, yeah, like the way like if I know I'm in the wrong. Okay, I see what you're saying. If, yeah. if so I know I'm in the wrong, move, yeah. I will argue as much as I can, and then I'm like I'm like finally like Kate, fuck it. So like yeah. and then I'm like just ripping off. I'm like Kate, let's just let's just I know I'm in the wrong. Let's so just have sex. <laughs> so you're encur- you're actually encouraging him to argue with you more because then. Because if it always turns into sex, I mean, yeah. A, if he's too move. busy, sometimes I'll <laughs> be like, "Let's fuck it, let's fight." Let's. <laughs> that's a good move. Yeah. yeah not, there's nothing. There's nothing like. Uh, there's nothing like. I mean, because it, it hits on that level. It hits on that hate. That hate sex level. Mm-hmm. There's nothing quite like that. I think it's like the best though. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you, get a lo- you go a little bit. Isn't it? Because it's because the sweet the sweet stuff. You know the flowers and the petals on the bed. That, that you can't do that every road. day, though. Yeah, it's just you know? tough. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's it's like it's draining. And you're it's just draining. Like, you know, the eye contact. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, you pillow and face. Pillow and the, the face. Yeah. Some spanks. Yeah. 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 All of it. That was yeah. I keep getting I keep getting tangled up here. All right, so <laughs> um, all right, so what else? What else? Uh, let's see. What what's been going on with you lately? Is there anything that's like sort of weird that's like in your head that's been that's been messing with you lately? In your life? Mm. 
No, uh, well, yeah, that actually there's a lot of shit going on, but I mean, it's mostly just work, yeah. you know, just work stuff. Yeah. Um, I just got my USID, so like I'm able to work now because yeah. I because I wasn't able to work for like six months because you know the DMV like they take fucking forever to to give you a license? to give me because I'm from Canada like they yeah. don't like immigrants getting like I don't, I don't know okay. it's just a random shit now shit. your husband is American okay yeah so you should have so you should have your paper so you're you should be legal but it just took them forever yeah to it just to took like them like forever because you. yeah because papers got lost and like it was just a big like yeah. kerfuffle and then like kerfuffle. That's my favorite word. <laughs> and then, uh, so I finally got my work ID, like my ID to work. Mm -hmm. And I'm just getting back into work. So it's been, it's been busy. Like it's been pretty good. Yeah. But other than that, so no So what's your process? So I think a lot of us probably don't know because most people probably working nine to fives, normal deal. Because a comedian, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to work weekends and things like that. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, when it comes to like filming and TV, like a lot of times people just stack months and they'll just do a bunch of work and then not work a bunch so how what's your what's your process on it me personally i like to i like to work um okay well i know that if you work too well this is how i look at it if like i knock out like a bunch of scenes i'm yeah. not gonna have a lot of work for a while yeah. because you, does that make sense so i like to spread it out like i and uh, i like I don't know if you've watched my like my porn or whatever, but like I'm it's I'm like small down there, you know okay, what I mean? So, so I can't work oh, just every physically, day. Physically, you know, you'll be destroyed. Yeah, so yeah. I can't work every day or else like I'm just like I can't like I, think, I can't I think, do and it. I think that goes to a lot of people. Yeah, like like uh uh I I've, I've been in that situation where like you just you just have so, like somebody comes to visit and you just have them and you just like uh, yeah. and then I'm just like I, just, I really want to fuck you, but I I can't. You need I like a recovery day I or need, something. I I need to buy some skin or something. Yeah. I need to, like I'm really in I'm in a position here, and it's 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 the worst. It's like going to the gym, getting really sore, and mm -hmm. you just can't work out the next mm -hmm. day. Does that make sense? It's like yeah, some it's days I can, but I'm just getting back into it, and I don't yeah. want to like mess anything up down right. there or anything. So right. yeah. So that uh, so that makes sense. So it's in, and then and then again, then you're also you're spreading out the work so that it's not like, because yeah, those those weird those crazy uh, you know chunks of work and then and then no work mm -hmm. it kind of messes with normal people's rhythms yeah you know. i like having I, well i don't really like a schedule yeah but i like um at least three days of work yeah or four yeah but i can't do seven yeah it's, it's a lot just a lot it's a lot it's a yeah lot. this is what i was telling you before this so i'm uh so just the way it worked out i flew out to vegas in la so now i mean this is like we're doing i'm doing like 10 or 12 in a row mm -hmm. and then i just got to the point where like i don't even I don't even know if there's enough stuff in my brain anymore to like have conversations. Yeah. Like running out. Of, I'm like, I'm like, I need to do 12 hours of content and I got nothing. So my, I got like, like my brain is sore. Yeah. I got like stretched out brain right now. I feel you. I mean, like I'm, I'm pretty tired today, but I feel like I'm talking yeah, no, a good you're, amount. You're holding so it down. Don't yeah, worry. I'm, tr I'm trying. Fine. I'm trying. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, yeah, I, I had some I had some podcasts throughout the process where pe some people didn't didn't uh, didn't speak English, so uh, we're we're, <laughs> we're <doing laughs> a little fine. hard. We're doing fine. The English is here. English uh, is here. We're doing it. We're at this place called the Open Space Theater in L.A. They let they let me have the whole room, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, the problem that I'm running into is because it's basically a coffee shop. I'm like drinking four or five coffees a day. But that's good, though. <laughs> I mean, you offered me coffee, and I don't know yeah. why I said no thank you. Oh, like you, now you I'm wanted like, a coffee? No, now oh, I'm shit. like, I should have said yes, but yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I just switched over, so I'm not, so I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing any dairy. So I've been trying to figure out my big, my big move on coffee for a lot of years was uh, lots and lots of skim milk. So I'm trying to figure yeah. out, you know, whether or not it's soy milk, almond milk. Uh, it's like yeah. when you make those changes, it's like, it's like, it's like I don't know who I am as a person anymore. Yeah, I'm a skim milk guy. Who am I now? No, nah, me, I'm like, I used to be like really healthy, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, but I work out a lot, so well it kind of evens it out. Yeah. So you don't have a lot of issues. So now it's like, I just get like the most fatty thing in a restaurant or like coffee shop yeah, or whatever. It. But I mean, fuck it. It's Go whatever. in, yeah. Yeah, c just get it. <laughs> it doesn't appear that you have any metabolism problems. <laughs> uh, I, think you're, I think you're fine. Um, okay, so Canada, so now you're in LA. Uh, you do some traveling. What's, uh, what's your favorite place? Do you have a favorite place? Canada. Canada, just in general. And yeah. Hawaii. Canada's so much better, man. I don't know it's what not, it is. It's not that it's... It's, be it's better. It's, ugh, it's just like the... It, it's so... It's such a tie. Yeah. But it's like we have lakes there. And yeah. it's like you can go swimming without like feeling like you're going to get eaten by a shark oh, or you something. Oh, like, you don't like the ocean? No, I don't. I, I mean, got stung I like by a stingray as a kid. See, that's so why I you. don't go in. Yeah. That's why I don't yeah. go in. I got stung by a stingray. It was, it was a traumatic experience. 
And yeah. I was just telling uh, uh, Darcy Dolce uh, yeah. on a different episode. Oh, I like her, yeah. Was, um, it's a weird culture thing because I didn't know that, that like people on certain areas of the country don't go to lakes. They, they, they yeah. have the ocean, so they go to the beach. So I was going to the beach with a buddy of mine, and he calls his mom, and he's from Philly. Philly, they go to the Jersey Shore. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, we're on our way to the beach. And his mom was like just flabbergasted and confused. And then he had to explain. He goes, oh, um, they treat lakes like oceans here. Yeah, which is like a weird idea for somebody that they yeah. would let you go swimming in in a in a lake. It's so normal, like and then like yeah. yeah, and then you could go paddle boarding and there's like like no like these lakes lakes, lakes don't lakes move, waves. so it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can actually go swimming like because I used to have dogs and stuff mm -hmm. right, and they would actually go in, and I just got a new puppy and like well she's like older she's like five months now. What kind of dog? A uh, husky. Okay, but she won't go in the ocean. She, yeah, it's, it's like she's uh, afraid of it. Yeah, she yeah. hates the wave, so I'm like, I just want to go to Canada. So she goes, so she goes like she's gonna go yeah. in, and then and a then wave comes in and she runs out. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. Yeah, I still do that too, though. Like every you time run I go, the waves? yeah, I like go That's in. I'm like, this is nice. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, the first time after I got uh, some western. I think I was trying to, I was trying to be confident about being in the water, and I, and I wasn't even any place like with crazy. I was in like Myrtle Beach, and I was doing the thing where you run <laughs> the wave and you jump up, and one of them, the thing took me, flipped me around twice, and then just like left me on my <laughs> chest, like but almost like on the beach, like embarrassing level. They're strong waves. Yeah, I was like, I'm not doing this again. Yeah. Um, but it's a big, big surf surfer culture out here. I don't know why I couldn't. Surfer <laughs> culture. Sh kerfuffle uh, of words. <laughs> out here. Um, big weed culture out here. Yeah. Um, how, yeah, where do you fall on that? Um, I mean, I used to smoke a lot. Yeah. And then I moved here. And then it's not that I have anything against girls smoking in the, like, in the industry like, who smoke. Yeah. But they smoke a shit ton. So it kind of made me back off of it a bit. Yeah. Because, like, I've seen how... Okay, I'm not saying all girls in the industry. I'm just saying some. You're so protective. Because some girls are going to be like, oh, my God, Emma Hicks said she that. She was talking about me. She was talking about me. It's definitely about me. <laughs> but some girls get so fucked up on set that yeah. they can't even perform. Sure. You know what I mean? So yeah. now, like, I'm... I'm I got my balance, yeah. you know. It's more edibles for sure. me than like actually. Like I'm afraid. I'm afraid of edibles. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Some people are way for them. Some people are like, "Yo, you'll be fucked up for like hours." So now I'm like, I'm in the middle. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. See, well, I took some last night. I ate some last night because I was like, okay, well, I'm having anxiety, so I'm just gonna like have a bite, right? Yeah. And this morning I woke up. I'm like, am I still high right. or like, you know, they they fuck you up. Yeah. So I uh the worst. So I I've been. So comedians have, have great weed, and so I've been I've been in situations where I, where I had had uh, I smoked some things that was out of my that were out of my pay grade. Yeah, uh, as I like to put it, uh, <laughs> where I was just like I was like I shouldn't have smoked that shit. Yeah. Uh, but I, one time I, I was uh, I was up in Albany, New York, and for some reason, and I don't know if I just have the right connections in Albany, but uh, I have a couple crazy stories about weed from Albany. I don't know if it's fantastic there or what. Yeah. But uh, I I was basically like like uh, forced to. <laughs> To take like a multiple bong hits, my friend. That's my first bong hit. Yeah. And uh, I, for a couple days, wasn't sure if I was ever gonna get my brain back. Like that's how I felt. Yeah, you feel like you just burnt so many brain cells. You're like. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't focus. I couldn't whatever. Like I was, I was legitimately like, I, I was like, I'm not really sure what to do. I started, I started texting people. That yeah. Kind of thing. I don't think, I don't think I have the uh, like. I'm neurotic already. I don't think I have the. Um, the the brain freedom to like be cool with the consequences of drugs yeah i know i agree completely like i'm just like i don't do if i can't get my brain i don't know what i'm gonna do like i started trying to th like figure out like in my head i was like am i gonna have to do cocaine now to like offset this whole yeah, thing you're like, just is to there reset like a balance? my body like what's gonna happen yeah so i don't know i mean i've i've never done any other drugs i've only done like weed but like, or not done weed but like yeah. i've smoked weed you know what i mean i accidentally did molly once i've never i'm too scared yeah but i mean like my mom like where i was raised and stuff it was like m like my mom's a damn good mom you know and so like she's like stay away from the drugs and yeah. stuff and i'm like too scared because like yeah. i'm just too scared yeah you know? it's, i think that and that's a good f it's a good healthy fear yeah but i mean you, know you mean? gotta at least like do it once with like people yeah, that you trust yeah but, but you don't want to be like the person who's like Heroin schmeroin, it shouldn't yeah. be a big deal. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, trying, that's something, no. Just no. trying heroin. Just, yeah, no, just just <laughs> do it into my eye. I don't just care. Just one time. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> you only live once. Just inject it directly into my penis. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah, uh, uh, hel uh, a little bit of fear is healthy. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, okay, so what do you do? For, what do you for free time? Are you obsessed with anything? Are you obsessed with music? Are you obsessed yeah. with TV shows? Are you like, what's uh, do you have a thing? Yeah, I mean, I play piano. No shit. Okay, I never said I was good. Okay. But I <laughs> but I play. I'm learning like a new song and 
Yeah, I mean, TV. We just got a TV last night. You just so. got a TV. Like, you didn't have a TV. No, we had a TV, but then we were like, hey, we need one in our room. Because we okay. just moved into a new house, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So, we just got, like, a new TV and put it in the living room. So, like, I've been addicted to that. Yeah, what's your, what are your shows? Um, How I Met Your Mother. Mm-hmm. That's 70 show. Interesting. I love that show. These are, these are weird choices. Is that Friends. What I okay. I like, like, the, like yeah. the funny. Like Wait, how old are you? 19 you're 19 so this is all yeah this is all stuff that was like crushing i, gu- I guess i get it because this this you were not all right actually were you watching these while they were happening you must have no, been 12 w- 10 uh, no actually i started watching all these shows within like the last like three years okay so you, yeah, so you gotta do the, you gotta do the whole big catch-up yeah well i mean i've watched all of them oh, you yeah. have seen them all i i was doing uh i was dating somebody a couple of years ago who had um who had the the friends bo- actually I bought her the friends box set mm-hmm. and then we broke up before I got to the end of it so Aww. I don't so I don't even know where I left off and people were like okay well, uh and I was like I don't know something about Ross and and a, and an airplane and a kid in London like that's I'm some, somewhere in that Okay I'm not chunk. there I'm not there well So that's like that's like I want to say that's like dead center of the thing cuz he's not with Rachel yet it's like one of those I things. think I think I mean I've watched like the whole show Yeah but like obviously like sometimes I just put it on for like background noise yeah, while I like, clean sure. or something. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I've watched like oh Family Guy too. I've watched that from like season one to end like five times. Yeah, yeah. Family Guy has still has still has uh an amazing chunk of jokes that just hold up for just there's out, some out of the blue. <laughs> there's some bad jokes in there too. Like yeah. uh, my sense of humor is so dark too, yeah. so I'm like shit. <laughs> the, uh, the, I still uh you know, I, I'll still quote with, with family members the, the scenes where uh, uh Stewie comes in and shoots Brian in the kneecaps. He's like, Oh you got Do money you for fake mustaches? Oh yeah, huh? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he shoots his kneecaps and then he's like trying he's like, Hey, we're cool, right? And he's like, You shot me in my kneecaps. There's a, there's this one and it's just like Peter throws a biscuit at like Lois's head or whatever. Yeah. And Stewie's like, um, you're just gonna let that happen. You're gonna let him throw a biscuit at you, and then like Meg says something just like um, I don't know something about throwing food, and, she yeah. and then Stewie's just like throw it at Lois. She won't give a fuck, and it's like so funny. Like yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, my yeah, yeah. favorite episode. She, um, th- I think th- somebody, the first couple <laughs> seasons of Family Guy, the adults don't ever react, and I don't know if it holds up, but the, the adults don't ever react to what Stewie says. Yeah, like there's this weird thing. I think they, I think they eventually just made it so that so that they understand him. But initially, I don't like the first ones. Yes, yeah, so, but initially, so like that was part of the thing. So I remember people in college were like writing papers on about how Stewie says his stuff, and the parents don't hear him, and the and mm-hmm. the uh, uh, the symbolism behind that. Uh, I don't know why, but one of my favorite and this uh, seem seemingly um, uh, within topic is there's a there's a scene. Oh. And I don't know how it came up, but the the cops bust in. And uh, and two people are having sex, and they're like, uh, "Are you?" Uh, th- they said, uh, "Are you paying him to have sex with you?" And uh, oh and yeah, she, yeah. And she goes, "Yeah." And they go, and they go, "That's illegal." And they go, "Oh no, we're filming. We're it. filming and they it. Go, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. no problem." <laughs> and then they left. Yeah, it's that so was funny. funny. It's so funny. No, 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 no. We're film. We're filming. We're fi- okay, then it's oh, carry on, carry on. Carry, yeah, carry <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, carry on. So funny. What a strange country. Yeah, we're finally getting to a weird place where. Uh, we're we're opening the 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 floodgates on a lot of things. Uh, gambling, like they're starting to put casinos. Uh, so up up near me in the Northeast, pretty mm-hmm. much casinos were all um, Native American. Yeah. And now, New York State and a bunch of other places nearby, because they have just gotten kind of sick of Native American casinos not paying some of the taxes, and they decided mm-hmm. to spend, so they just opened the the doors and they said, okay, well now we can do gambling in New York State. So they opened a casino in Schenectady, New York. And they're opening a bunch of other ones near uh, near near uh, racetracks and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So it's getting it's getting weeds getting legal. It's getting crazy out here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really in like the whole flow with like what's going on. Yeah. You know, I feel like I came into the country at like kind of a shitty time since Trump yeah. just got elected. Yeah. How do you feel about that whole thing? I was gonna say something, but it's gonna sound super bad. I no, mean, no, no, no. I please. mean. I'm from Canada, yeah. so it's not like the worst country to come from. Yeah, I re- I said that mi- that sounded really bad out loud. Canada's but not like, the worst country to come from. It's like one. I don't know. I mean, I don't think he's gonna kick me out. Does that make sense? Oh, like, you're saying you're fine from a from like a travel ban standpoint. Yeah, does that make sense? Like he's very like, I okay. I hate Trump. Yeah, you're not like you're not who he's worried about. He's not going after you. Yeah, yeah. but. I, I don't know that for sure. I mean, I don't really know what's going on with the whole politics shit. But like, personally, I just I fucking hate him. Right now, it's a, and right now it's like a weird free for all, and it's actually divided the country more to the effect where 
if you even bring up tr- as a comedian, if you bring up Trump mm-hmm. in the middle of the country, people just start uh, they're like on guard. Like I got a couple jokes that even just mention him, but aren't about insulting him or anything. Yeah, One was just about how uh, how great it would be if we could if, if we could challenge leadership like they do in the animal kingdom, mm-hmm. where in the animal kingdom, if there's an alpha, you attack him. If you win, you're the new alpha. Yeah, it would be great if we could just walk up to Donald Trump and rip his penis off and be the <laughs> new president. Yeah, and just saying Trump, people start freaking out. I have a joke about how uh, girls on Tinder, uh, right? If you voted for Trump, don't don't swipe. On the my swipe face. right or whatever. Yeah, yeah, swipe left if you voted for Trump. And then even just saying that in the middle of the country, they're like. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna say about Trump? And then, and then in the, and then in the East Coast, and then all the, you know, and all the, all the crazy places uh, that that are anti-Trump. Yeah. If you even bring it up, they're just like, no, we're not gonna talk about that. Here's the thing: is he's he's smart, but he's also really dumb. Yeah. I mean, that's my opinion, though. Yeah. I mean, people might disagree. So, it there is a weird, uh, there's a weird thing. Now, the thing that we gotta really acknowledge is that the president doesn't have as much power. As we say he does, but so so the people mm-hmm. around him are are very much uh, important to and integral to what's happening. Yeah, and he's just kind of breaking apart. He's ca- right now. He's kind of in this weird like, um, I guess when you have a kid or a dog or really anything that you now become responsible for. Yeah, they test their boundaries. What do you mean? They test their boundaries. They're like they're like they're like, I don't oh know what yeah I'm yeah to do like the dog is like whatever and you're like no you can't no 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 no, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah. and it's like look, got its leg lifted and it's like a that's to mine pee right now my dog and you're like no <laughs> that's not where you pee you know that <laughs> yeah and he's like I don't know though I don't know. Uh, and that's what he's doing man. it's like with my dog if if she's about to do something uh, like either like go for the trash or eat something that that's like out that I don't want to eat and I'll be like hey and then she'll my favorite move that she has now is she won't she won't look at me anymore because if you look at me then she's acknowledging that like she yeah, she, she knows so that you're instead, there instead yeah. she's like beelining for something i go hey and she just turns and then uh, <laughs> yeah. at, so i wasn't go- i wasn't going over there you're wrong i wasn't even gonna go over there <laughs> and that's kind of what uh that's kind of what trump's doing now is he's yeah just, he's basically just going and he's, he's about to pee on something until and he, just wants he gets to see yeah although with trump he just pees on it anyway yeah it i mean he's like out. fuck yeah whatever <laughs> yeah, he just pees on it actually so his so his is more like i'm gonna pee on this and see what you do. <laughs> and see what you do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's, he's like, I'm shit here. And he's like, your move, America. <laughs> your move. Your <laughs> move. Yeah. So it's, a really, it's a really interesting time. And it's like, I don't know, is it, is it making it more or less likely that, because the, the, the rumors are Kanye West, The Rock. Yeah. And some crazy people. So it's like, is it is it more likely now that like The Rock will become the president? Or is it less likely because of what's going on, do you think? Yeah. I don't know. It's like a weird. Uh, you like. Do you guys? Do you guys now? I, so, I, so mm-hmm. Americans, because we're we're Americans, we don't really understand anybody else's system. Well, that's kind of like me too. I'm, I'm like kind of like out of the loop yeah. with America. But, so, but your system, I don't like. I don't. It's Our system is. It's theoretically an open vote, but you're also. It's kind of like ours from the electoral college, where it's yeah. like broken into little provinces, and you vote for your guy, and he gets to vote for your interests, right? Yeah, I, I think so. so. I mean, I've never voted in Canada because oh, I was really? I was I moved so here when I was eighteen. Now, yeah. yeah, I moved here when I was eighteen. It's the same so thing. It's I don't really know how it works. Not gonna lie, I mean, yeah. I probably sound really dumb, but I honestly don't know. I think most of us uh, didn't have a lot of political knowledge at eighteen, nineteen. So you're kind of just yeah. living your life, not really yeah. giving a shit. You're yeah. Not that. Yeah. I just don't no, know how it works. No, because at eighteen and nineteen, everything is like everything is like up and happy and whatever, you know, whatever. But then, you know, then when you're, you know, forty-five and you've hated your job for the last twenty <laughs> yeah. years, you're like, no, 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 you're not taking away this right that isn't a right for me. Exactly. Yeah. So that's where people are. I mean, I'll get there, but <laughs> yeah, I'll get to, I'll get to sadness one day. I'll get to sadness yeah, one day. <laughs> so wait, you're married? How long have you been married? I've been married for six months now. Okay, and then how long were you guys together before that? Um, Are you? Well, I don't know why you're getting. It's like only six months before we got married. Okay. Do you think that that's short? You're 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 saying it in a in a like like in a way that you think I'm. Because it judge sounds you. really bad. A lot of people yeah. judge. They're like, you guys hardly knew each other, yeah. and you know. But it's like when you know, you know. How'd you know? You know? I just knew. I mean, like. We get we get along so great, yeah. and it's just like all of our jokes. We have the same humor, so okay. it's like whenever he says something, I n- I'm never like that's that's a dumb joke. I'm yeah. like that's fucking funny, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it's just like I need someone who's funny, or else yeah. it's kind of like you know, no. boring. It's boring, yeah. Plus, uh, I can yeah. re- I can relate to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The 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 humor thing is a is a big is a big component. It really you is. gotta be funny. Yeah. When you uh, but maybe what you said is you gotta have the same sense of humor. Like if you both if you both like are dull and think that. 
you know, whatever politics is, is a good thing. Is funny. Yeah. Fun, yeah. <laughs> or like legal uh, terminology. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, that's yeah. That's what I ran into with with my friend. Was that uh, yeah? Basically, uh, at the end of it, I was like, I don't know that. I just don't. I think maybe she's not funny. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. She's just all serious all the time. It's not and fun. So I just yeah, and and uh, I, I just. It just didn't work. It didn't work out. We were like fighting, going, and I was like, "Why are we fighting? This is ri- this is ridiculous." Yeah. Well, he's in, he's in porn too, so yeah. I, I mean, that's yeah. It's you know, we get along really yeah. good. So yeah. So how do you handle this? Is the thing I was trying to figure out with people is how do you handle the the jealousy aspect? Then we're still working on it. I mean, like all couples obviously get jealous. So you do. Like so you get. So you get. So you get hurt a little bit when so, you know. When uh, yeah, something. I mean, when he works with someone that I think is like super hot, yeah. or like I'm like damn like so that's, I want to work on with you him. yeah you know what I mean it's kind of like it's a little I get a little bit jealous uh, sometimes yeah um but then I know like at the end of the day he's coming home to me not yeah. her you know what I mean yeah. so I'm like haha but like <laughs> <laughs> but um he's working on his jealousy too um I think it's like harder for guys though yeah I um, really do I don't I don't know um well I don't know well it, here's here's what I kind of think is um ever like every parent uh, like having a girl is always like a like a worse thing yeah. for like a dad, because mm-hmm. because just the most aggressive thing that there is on earth is is a cock. Yep. So wh- so whether whether you have a gay son or a, or a straight daughter, yeah, the idea that somebody is gonna is gonna like put a cock in them is very. It's very hard. I get that. Hard. I get it's that. It's like a hard. It's like, and it's such. It's a much more aggressive thing. So then having a boy, it's kind of different. I yeah. mean, you're still well, like. If you have a son, you just want him to put his cock and stuff. Yeah, like you're like, I don't do know it. Why. There's like, there's just this thing. Well, me and him were talking about that the other day too. We're yeah. like, we don't want a girl. Like, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's just somebody's uh, gonna put stuff in. Someone's it. gonna put stuff yeah, in it. We don't know how she's like gonna turn it's out. So you know? rough. It's just know. rough. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just a more vulnerable uh, thing. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, it does make it, it makes it very, very rough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if guys are more jealous because uh, at the end of the day, it's like guys have this weird instinct for the most part. That's like so if sometimes feels pre-programmed that we should that we feel like like we f- you know, we feel like a like a bull and we look protective. At we, yeah, but we but we look at a, a room full of cattle and we're like, we want to fuck all of them. There's that old joke. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the, the son is the is says, hey, dad, why don't we run down there and fuck one of those cows? And he said, son, why don't we walk down there and fuck all of them? <laughs> so there's like this weird like, you know, thing from evolution that like we kind of have we still have that in us. So, uh, you know, I, it, it should be a little bit. The jealousy thing should be a little bit less. Yeah. He's, he's, he's protective, but like yeah. in a good way, yeah. you know. Um, but obviously, like, it's kind of like he doesn't like the thought of like someone else's inside of me. Right. You know what I mean? So it's I guess. So then this is a question. Do you guys decide what you work on together then now that you're married? What do you mean? Like, does he like do you whatever types of scenes you're going to do? Oh, like do we have like a no kind yeah, of thing? Does he chime in? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like. I can say like th- I don't know if whatever you want. I yeah, can yeah. say dirty stuff. So okay, yeah, I didn't know if there was like certain words. No, you didn't I want just to say. don't. I like, I, and, I, and I've said a couple times things. I just, I just don't want to be too like, um, too pervy. That's really all it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well then, okay, I'll keep it like less pervy. Um, we both have like the no of like coming inside. Like, okay. so he can't come inside a girl, and yeah. I can't get cu- like I can't. Yeah. Does that make no, sense? No, and then so okay, so it's weird. So like, I think the equality on that is not is not a straight line. Like him coming inside somebody's not on the level of you getting cummed in. So. But because, and I think that's where we run into trouble when you make rules within a relationship. But it's still like a special thing to us because we only do it with yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to have the rule of no kissing. Like okay. But then it's just like that's, you can't, like in yeah. porn, you kind of got Sometimes to, you got, yeah. You gotta. Sometimes you gotta do, 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 do. So we're like, we'll let that go. Like, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Um, but that's about it. I mean, you know. Yeah. We were pretty chill with each other. Yeah. It's and it's just, a, it's just a weird, it's just a weird line. And I'm, I'm trying, I'm like struggling in my own personal life trying to figure out. Uh, how to walk some of those lines because I travel a ton and and I've been able t- for you know over the years to sort of have um, you know relationships with people in, in you know that don't live near me and then we got to figure out what we do next do we do the thing do we try and open th- you know relationship yeah. deal that and never like works though I don't know I don't know but you know what uh, kind of globally nothing works like my yeah. my, my cousin is getting a divorce uh, and he was in what I thought was like a perfect relationship. Yeah, but y- from an outside point of view, like you never know, though. You know what I mean? You never know what, like how they are actually, how they are without oh, you there. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get, yeah, I get where you come from. But I mean, for, uh, but I, but I know. I mean, I know yeah. their relationship and like kind of what happened and how it 
And they're really like we're trying to come up with an explanation. There really just isn't one. But yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering whether or not people are actually made to be with another person over an extended period of time. Like, do you think do you think you're gonna be in? Do you think you'll be married till you? Yeah, I mean, like we both talked weird. about it. We were like, we like because I looked actually yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. I was like, you're gonna be a really cute old man. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, and he's like, you're gonna be a really cute old lady. And I'm Aww. like, that's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, so you know. But what? Do you, so what do you think? Okay, so then here's so then here's the question. Then what's the secret? What do you think? What's it, what's it going to take for you guys to make it? Sixty, seventy years to <laughs> your deathbeds, holding hands. <laughs> yeah, like, well, what's it? What's it going to take? I mean, we just got to make each other happy. Yeah. He's he's made sacrifices for me, and I've made sacrifices for him, like moving here sure. and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, just keep each other happy. I think I think that's, that's where we're at as a society. I think I think we don't uh, I think we don't try as hard anymore. I have like a very mature like I'm like a very old soul. Yeah. Does that make sense? So like yeah, I, it's yeah. like I feel like and I've had a, like a lot of boyfriends in the sure. past. So I got a lot of fucking wisdom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm I'm, you know I, like, I can't I like, explain it. I just I, like, I just know. I like, I like that actually. That's uh, that's an interesting point because we, you know, we w- wisdom basically is just like yo. I've been through some sh- horrible mistakes. I've been through a lot of shit. Man. Terrible <laughs> terrible mistakes, and we just call that wisdom now. And it still happens though. Mistakes yeah. still happen, but then it's like a lesson learned yeah, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I've been there, done that. I've been there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, my grandfather, very very wise man, but all that but all that really did was was he has this old old Italian man thing where mm-hmm. he's just like like I would like I would get real excited about an idea. I was like, oh, what, wouldn't it be amazing? Like just like own a restaurant, and then like he knew ten guys who own restaurants, and like it was like hard, and he was like basically he had decided that like owning a restaurant would never be a thing, and he just would just and so when you're a kid, you just take yeah. all that old old wisdom as like fact, and you just take it, yeah. and then I realized eventually that like. Like he's just he just closed his life off to uh to to like anything anything new yeah because he made up his mind he's like no it's done done deal yeah and I I feel like I have I still have a couple of those like moments where like something happens and I just like I just go like old Italian man and <laughs> like, you're cut off like I just want to cut people out of life for no reason I'm like cut off cut um, off so we gotta stay open we gotta we gotta do it <laughs> so yeah so that's so that's so six months in so the honeymoon phase mm-hmm that's 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 great. Yeah. Are you guys, uh, how long do you think the honeymoon phase will last? I mean, it's lasted a year, yeah. so, I mean, that's a pretty damn long time yeah. already. I like you know to what call I mean? the honeymoon phase the period of time from when you meet somebody till you know for sure that you hate their fucking guts. That's the We hate each other sometimes, <laughs> but, I mean, all couples do. It's whatever, right. but. Right. You're, like, you're like, I love you. I love you, but I hate you. <laughs> until you. Until you take a shit with the door open, and then I hate you. That's like the daily thing now. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Dump conversations? Yeah. yeah you or him? Kind of both. Yeah. You know, I'll just walk by. How's your day going? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's good, man. But, but will, you, will you have the conversation from the shitter? Yeah. I see. I Man, we'll have a conversation wherever we are. I I almost uh, I I don't think anybody's ever. I'm trying to think of relationships. I don't think any girl I've ever been with has ever shit and discussed anything with me. Oh, I, you have no idea. I I'm think they still like pretended like they didn't shit. I used to be like, oh no, girls poop rainbows and butterflies. Yeah, no, you know, now I'm like, now I'm like the the manliest. My gr- my ex lived with me, and yeah. she would wait until she kind of like would know what the schedule was of the day. So she'd wait till I was gone. She'd like oh walk the dog, and she and she'd shit. I used to. I was gone. All girls do that though. Like yeah. when I first met my husband, it was like, you know. I'd stay at his house for like four or five days and yeah. I wouldn't go shit because yeah, I'm like, I don't want to use his toilet, yeah. you know? And now I'm just like, okay, yep. Yeah, whatever no. I fucking want to go. <laughs> no, I don't have that luxury and maybe, and, and I don't have, and I don't have a public toilet fear. I will, I will shit anywhere. Same with me. I'll shit. I don't give a shit. Legitimately anywhere. This actually happened to me the other day. Like I ended up in a situation where I, um, where, where I was some staying with friends out here and I woke up and, um, and I didn't know, I don't know like their bathroom habits. So I woke up, you ever wake up and you just have to pee right now? Oh, yeah. That, now. Yeah. And you have to, and when you <laughs> have, sometimes you can figure out like finagle it or you kind of know your role. You can knock it, whatever you get. Yeah, in. yeah. Uh, I don't have that in this circumstance. So like, because I, you know, I don't, I don't have that. I don't know the thing and I don't, I'm not going to come in. Yeah. So I had to like figure out how to take an emergency pee. And they have like a little <laughs> balcony. So I'm out on the balcony looking around. I know that the landlord's downstairs. So I don't want to piss off the balcony. I yeah. I end up finding like a little bucket that they use as an ashtray. Oh and my like, God. I guess I got to pee in this bucket. That's we That's actually funny that you bring that up because my husband had to do that yesterday. You had to pee in a bucket? They were shooting at our house or whatever. Yeah. Like just a music video or whatever. And then um, we didn't want to be too loud because they were filming. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, I really got to pee. He's like, me too. 
And so, like, there was, like, the shower drain. And yeah. it's, like, the shower's not finished yet in okay. our house. Like, yeah. one of the showers. And so, he's just, like, kneeling down, peeing as quiet as he can. And, like, me too. And we're just, like, looking at each other, like, yeah, we know. Like, we're <laughs> right for each other. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. The shower drain. Do you pee in the shower? I mean, like, if it's, like, morning time and, like, I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, but mostly it's, like, I take my morning pee. And then, like, all that's my... A thing? Yeah. You wake up, have the morning pee. I have to. I gotta do the morning pee. What's the What's the but next three things that you do? Okay. Well, our bathroom door is broken. Like we need to put like a door because we it's been renovated yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So the door is like f- always open and shit. So the all my animals always come in and like see me take my morning pee, which <laughs> is like the usual. Like it's yeah. whatever. And then after that, I usually go straight to the couch, watch TV for like a couple hours, and then like sometime in the morning, like I'll masturbate. Not to be pervy, but that's just <laughs> the truth. Fine. And then um. Yeah, I mean, my days are pretty chill. <laughs> yeah. If if I'm not working. Yeah, that sounds like yeah. that sounds like a pretty good day. Pretty um, good day, yeah. <laughs> the morning pee. The morning pee. All right. Uh, actually, that would be. The I mor- that was the morning pee sounds like a great podcast. I thought that name. was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the morning pee. Yeah, the morning pee. I kind of like that. <laughs> um, let's see. I think we've been we've been in here for about fifty minutes. Let's see. Uh, we haven't talked oh, about uh, plugging anything. What? What? Um, how do people reach you? What do you want people to follow you on? What do you? Where do you not want them to follow you? Yeah, I got my Twitter, which is Emma Hicks. E M M A H I X X X Triple X baby. Yeah. <laughs> and Follow. that's like my main that's like my main social media yeah. where like I'm on all the time. And then my Instagram is Emma dot hit oh wait, no. Yeah, this one's kinda long. This one's <laughs> Emma. Okay, let's look it up. D- okay. It's a uh, Emma Emma dot dot. Like the, the button dot. Yeah, like period. Period. H I X. H I X. Dot. Oh shit. L U V Oh I see it. Emma Hicks Emma loves, loves dicks. dicks. Yeah. yeah. Now there's. Oh no, I was gonna say there's a bunch of like in person is, but no, these are just okay. regular. These are just regular people named Emma Hicks. Like they're not using your photo. Oh, I was like, yeah, okay, well that one's that one's my old one, but yeah. Oh, this exists. This was this was this was actually you. Okay. Yeah, so Emma, Emma Hicks, Hicks loves, loves dicks. dicks. Uh, <laughs> very cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, official cock Canadian living in LA. Um, so follow her there. Emma Hicks loves dicks. Uh, yeah, and loves is L U V S dicks obviously with an X the way everyone spells <laughs> it the normal way. <laughs> um, now, what? Th- why did you say you had an old account? Why do you have an old account? Because it got suspended, so I made a new one. But by the time it got unsuspended, my main one was like already built okay, big right, enough. Right, so right. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah like whatever. I got real followers now. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, fuck that account. I got, yeah, that's uh, that not that the, not that this is like a um like a global problem, but basically the, you you can't show nudity on Instagram, yeah. so you guys get kicked off of there a lot. Girl, yeah. I mean, yeah. I've been kicked off for showing, like, no nudity whatsoever, yeah. but it was just on set at a scene. And yeah. I'm like, what? Do, so people flag. I heard I, people, I hear that people have just haters, so they get flagged. Oh, you have no idea? On Facebook a bunch. Mm-hmm. It just sucks because, like, it's already hard enough. Like, as, as a comedian, I know that if you, g- if, you just, if you get a certain number of followers, pretty much that gets you more work. Like, that's just yeah. kind of the world we're in. And if you lose it because someone reports you, it's like, right. there goes, like, my fucking work, yeah, you see, know, yeah, because I'll people see, can't see you. Yeah, I'll see, I'll, see, I'll see it all the time, and I'll see, oh, this is my new account. Somebody will get up to, like, a million Twitter followers, and then they'll get banned, uh, and then they got to start over. Like, this is not easy. It's, no, you always got hater. Followers. Yeah. It's like, the, it's, it's not, and that's, like, and that's the magic number. Basically, if you can get a million followers on any social media, even as, if it's Pinterest, yeah, then they'll give you a show. They'll just give you your own show. You're like, hey, I got a million Twitter. Just walk in HBO. Hey, I got a million Twitter followers. Is that, yeah, should I not tell you the secrets? The, <laughs> the, uh, there was a show, uh, there was a podcast with, with Ricky Gervais. Not that he, you know, not that he's unfamous or needs the help, but yeah. he did a podcast with him and uh, uh, Kyle uh, Pink, uh, Pink, Pinkler t- Pil- Pilkerton or something like this. Uh, and I don't know. Basically, they had done the podcast and they had a million. Uh, subscribers and listeners and so they just went to HBO and they were like what are you working on he's like I don't know he's like do you want to just take this podcast and animate it so they took like three years of old podcasts yeah. had animators come in and animate to the to the recordings and then they released them as as a whole season did um, it like blow up it and blow up yeah it was great and then HBO just yeah HBO was just basically it was work he'd already done and he'd already done the th- and HBO was just like yeah here's money we'll just and we'll do the rest it was fantastic like that's like that's good. Yeah, like that's m- if you get a million, I could walk in. If I had a million Twitter followers, I could walk in any comedy club in the country. And be like, hey, I have a million Twitter followers. Can, can I get up tonight? And they're like, yes. But it's hard. Yeah, that's like comedians though, and yeah. like porn stars. Well, it's kind of like no. Com- nobody cares about comedians. Like nobody. Are you serious? Nobody follows comedians. But that's all I that follow way. on Twitter. Oh yeah. I like that funny Who's shit. Your fa- yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that. Who's your favorite comedians? Okay, I like Russell Brand. Wait, not Russell Brand. Um, 
Russell Peters. Is yeah. that it? Peter Russell. Yeah. The, uh, he's, I haven't seen him in a long he's time. A Canadi- he's a Canadian. He's Canadian. Uh, he, right? He's a, yeah, he's a Canadian, uh, I- Indian Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I think he's from Canada. I'm pretty sure. I think he's from Canada, too. Um, there was another one that was my favorite, <laughs> and I can't remember. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I follow a lot of people. So the, yeah, just spot. So now I have the opposite <laughs> problem. I used to follow a, a shit ton of comedians. Now I'm following only porn stars. So uh, all, my whole thing is like not safe for work. I, I'm just like I'm trying to I'm just trying to look up what people are doing and so on and so forth. And you know, and then there's a vagina. Yeah, it's kind of like you know that made my day. There's, <laughs> there's a vagina. It's, well, it's, it's it's cool, but like but then when you're in a, public, well, as a man, yeah, you can't just turn into a monster. Like I can't like as a man, you can't you can't s- in passing just see vagina all the time. Yeah, because. And then have that be cool. Yeah, you get desensitized. Y- well, yeah, that too. But, you know, so initially, like, you know, like when I was a little kid, like, see, okay, so th- I'm just pulling this up just random. When I was a little kid, there's some cleavage, right? Yeah. Little kid, when I was in the seventh grade, that would be enough to take me into the restroom Seriously? For, like, for like 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Now I'm 34. You're like, and I need to see more. Yeah, and, yeah, and <laughs> like, and, and, you know, it's like, you know, the stuff's getting through, and it's just like that, nothing, no reaction. Really? My dick isn't even nothing, nothing to that right now. Well, uh, so it's weird. It's, I'm, in a, I'm in a weird spot where I'm, I'm it's, it's a transition period where I might get into a well, like, yeah. weird shit. You well, know, do you, you remember, know. like, when you're young and, like, when you first, like, have like a well for you girlfriend and it's just like yeah. how sp- like you get so turned on and just oh like yeah. you know what I mean yeah now it's a little different because it's just like well I've been in the industry for like yeah. a year or whatever now it's kind of like you still get turned on it takes a little bit more work but you're not yeah, yeah you're yeah you know but yeah like when with my Twitter on my phone it's yep. all porn you know what I mean yeah so when I'm in public I just I can't even open my right. Twitter because right. there's a vagina that's where I'm at like yeah, yeah I can't I won't I can't open it on the plane. Yeah. Because somebody's looking through the cracks and they're like, this fucking guy's looking at. I don't know what the rules. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are. Like, I don't know if I like. Can they kick me off a plane or out of a coffee shop? Because I'm. Isn't like, like I'm not. I'm not. I'm like. I'm not looking yeah. at porn. <laughs> this is porn. I understand this is porn. I just, like, I, I don't even think I could explain my way out of it. You I'm just like, blame I, it on spam. You're like, it's spam. I promise. Spam. I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I get where you're coming from. Either yeah. that, or I'm going to go the other route and I'm just going to be like cool with it. I'm just like showing people. Hey, look at this. You know, <laughs> look at next this. to me on the plane. You know, I don't know. But I'm in I'm in a I'm in a weird zone. But you guys, man, I don't know. You guys have you guys always have a ton of Twitter followers. I get it. Dudes yeah. are dudes are pervy. I get it. They wanna they wanna follow and do that sort of thing. But yeah, there's also like other fans who like are fans of you but don't follow you because like they obviously have like wives yeah. or like you know my high school friends. They're like you know I support you but I'm yeah. not gonna follow you, I which is like whatever. It. I can't follow you. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously that hurt? they don't. Or do you not care? No, I mean I don't. I have a lot of high school people who do follow me. Yeah. Um, and at first I thought like they were just like being like dicks by yeah. like following me being like, I know what you're doing. Does yeah, that make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah, now yeah. it's like, yeah, you follow me. Like, you're that's more, awesome. Judgment, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But like it, when people don't follow me, but they're, it's because like a lot of my friends have kids or yeah. whatever. And it's like, they don't want to pull it up on yeah, their phone. It, it, it can happen. Yeah. You got kids and then, and then randomly there's just up oh, tits. Oh, okay. So oh yeah. yeah right. There's my kid over there. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Um, so I get that. Do you, do you go? So then what, so then you don't have, do you have the social media stuff for, for non-porn at all like do you do you have, do you have like a facebook account that's just you for like personal high school friends yeah yeah did no no actually i did have a facebook for my like my real self yeah. or whatever <laughs> and my then real <laughs> my real self this is my fake self this right is my f- i'm so fake no um and then i deleted it because i didn't really like i didn't use it well, facebook facebook generally is just like kind of a place to store negativity these days yeah and i'm like i don't want to be around that especially shit especially after the election yeah. mm-hmm. so i just deleted that it, i deleted like my personal instagram i deleted everything because yeah. you know i don't want to be like i don't yeah, Emma, it's, it's my life now. It you know, t- it is a tough thing. So even as a comedian, l- like it's not even on the level, but like I, I've had I've had trouble because there, you know, there is a there is a, a public figure side, right? And then there's and then there's a personal side. So I've been in arguments with people that I've been in relationships with about like how I'm not posting them on this and then the other thing. And it's like, look, I, I I get that you want to be on my Instagram. I get that for some reason that's like a currency to people. I get that you want to be on Facebook and <laughs> yeah. all these things, but. Let's say I ever really hit it to the level that I that I that I aspire to. Uh, yeah, I don't want that chunk of people. Like I don't know those people. I don't want that chunk of people uh, knowing that much about my life. Like like yeah, the the, the personal side has become sacred now, mm-hmm. and it's just hard. Like you know, as a dude, it just. When you say that to a girl, it just sounds like, no, I want to fuck other girls and I don't want them to see you. But like, uh, yeah, I'm going, no, I just, I really, I, I want to be with you and have our time and be actually be important. Yeah. What, you know what I mean? But it's a tough, it's a tough sell. 
Yeah, I mean, I just deleted my. Accounts. At least with you, you can just go. No, no, no. That's that's uh, that's that's stage name now. This is this is me. Whatever, whatever. And and you can make it clear like this is these are separate things. I it's just deleted them. I was like, yeah. I'm plus like my family knows who I am. You yeah. know, it's you know, yeah. it's like I don't need accounts. I just I don't use them anymore. Yeah, I get that. Well, I mean, and you and you get this you get the same effect, which is you know the going through and swiping thing because you because you because you have them. Yeah, yeah, So you yeah. still get the, you know, that, that thing that well, we just have to see what's on there for no reason. It's like, oh, what's... I do that too often, yeah. yeah. I'm like, what's new? It just like, takes over life. Yeah. Well, uh, listen, this has been fun. Um, it has been fun. I appreciate it. We, uh, I, I like to keep the, the episodes in and around 45 minutes to an hour. I just don't think anybody uh, can, you know, can spend five hours listening to, to, <laughs> to a podcast. I feel like people have things to do with their lives. I might be wrong, but uh, <laughs> thank you for listening. So let's see, Emma.Hicks. Dot loves dot dicks for Instagram at Emma Hex triple X uh, on Twitter. What well, do you have other stuff? You said you have a you have a um, a paid Snapchat. No, that got taken down. Okay, so, so you it's don't just have a paid Snapchat. Things. Okay, yeah. so just look for her there. Follow her there. Uh, anything do you want that you want to plug that's coming up that you're super excited about? No, I mean, since I got my new ID, you'll see me in a lot of scenes. So just, just, just working, working, you know, working. Follow Guys, me on be twi- patient. Yeah, follow me on Twitter to see new updates and stuff. Cool. So that's about it. All right. Well, this is porn stars for uh, porn stars are people podcast. A uh, little alliteration sometimes rolls wrong off the tongue. I am your host Dan Frigolent. Thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe. You somehow found us. We're on TuneIn. Uh, we're on uh, iTunes Store, Google Play. You figured out how to find us uh, and, and uh, subscribe, and we'll keep trying to bring you content that you appreciate. Thank you for listening. <laughs>